Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your own DIY folding electric bike using the Brompton bicycle and a switch kit. Now I previously showed you guys a few months ago how to build a DIY electric mountain bike where I used the switch kit as well. And I really liked that kit so I got another one to build my wife a bike. But because I wanted her to have a bike that was easier to manage, smaller, lighter for carrying upstairs, I went with the Brompton bike and fortunately Switch has a kit that works really well with the Brompton bike. So let's get that kit out and see what it includes. All right, so of course we've got the power pack here. I've got the bigger tour pack. So uh, this is gonna just go longer, further, but I can always swap it in for the smaller pack that I have on my mountain bike. Next we've got the motor itself, which is nicely packed in here using this cardboard. That just keeps it from getting bent up and, and damaged during shipping. And the charger, of course, and some wiring, the battery mount, the uh, pedal assist sensor, zip ties, a seat cover, and the Brompton handlebar catch extension, which I believe goes here. All right, let's get to installing this kit. So the first thing I'm doing here is flipping the bike over, and I'll just put some protective foam on the handlebars so the shifters and brakes and whatnot aren't directly on the ground and getting scratched up or banged up or otherwise messed up. If you have a bike stand, then you don't need to flip your bike over, but I'm not fancy, so I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Next, I'll loosen the bolts holding the front wheel on so I can remove the wheel from the bike. You'll probably also need to let air out of the tire so it can slip past the brakes. From there, I'm going to swap the tire over onto my new motor wheel, but you can skip this step if you have another tire that you want to use. I'm using plastic tire levers here to avoid damaging either the rim or the inner tube. In a pinch, you could use a pair of spoons or even a flathead screwdriver if you're careful, but I'd recommend grabbing a set of these cheap tire levers for just a couple bucks over at your local bike shop. Once I've got the tire onto the motor wheel, I'll slide the motor into the front fork, and I'll use the washers that came in the kit to make sure it's spaced properly and that the motor doesn't impinge on the fork at all. The nice thing about this kit is that it's actually made for the Brompton bike specifically, so it just works and there's not a lot of adjustment that needs to be done. Next, I'll install the pedal assist magnet onto the crank. This piece comes in two halves that simply snap together, and then you put this spring ring on around the two halves to lock them together. Then you'll need to put the pedal assist sensor on, which reads the magnets on that plastic ring as they spin by. This piece has adhesive on the back, but you'll also want to use cable ties to hold it in place. And you'll want to be sure that you're lining up the head of the sensor with the magnets in the magnet ring, so that those magnets pass directly past the sensor as you spin the pedals. Okay, so now I can flip the bike back over and get to work on the rest of the kit that mounts up on the handlebars. Now my kit doesn't have a throttle in it, so there's nothing to install on the handlebar ends. But if you do include a throttle on your kit, you could just remove the handlebar grip here and slide a throttle on at this point. But I'll go straight to mounting the battery bracket. That simply slides on over the base of the handlebars and uses a couple of rubber spacers to grip tightly onto those handlebars. There's also a fabric strap here that needs to be placed around the handlebar. That keeps the weight of the battery from forcing down the bracket over time. You may have to test out a couple of holes in the strap to find the right one that allows the bracket to face forward without pointing too far up or too far down. It took me a couple of tries, but it wasn't too bad. Lastly, it's time to run all of the wires. The motor wire, which is the main one, will get fed down towards the fork where it plugs into the motor. And then the pedal assist wire does the same thing except it goes back towards the pedals. I used zip ties to keep the wires as neat and bundled as I could. Though as my wife will tell you, aesthetics are not my forte, and you could probably do a nicer job of running the wires than I did. So now I can connect the battery and I can get to testing the bike, which of course I'll need to head outside for. Now I've only got a bit of testing on the Brompton kit so far, but I'd say, so far, so good. You guys saw how easy it was to install, and it really makes a nice e-bike. I mean, the Brompton is already a great bike, so this just makes it better. Ironically, I know my wife's not really going to use the folding nature of the Brompton e-bike that much, which is kind of ironic because that's one of the big advantages of the bike, but really she just likes that it's a small, lightweight bike that looks good and doesn't get in the way. And as far as the switch kit goes, it's decently powerful, it can do light hills, and the pedal assist is fairly smooth. 
Of course, it's not as smooth as an expensive mid-drive, but this also costs a lot less than an expensive mid-drive. So all in all, I'd say I'm pretty darn happy with it. It's a good quality kit, it goes on nice and easy, and it turns any bike into just a really nice, simple, clean looking electric bike. All right, so that basically sums up the installation and then my first few test rides on the switch kit for the Brompton. You guys know I already have one of these kits on my mountain bike. Now I installed one on my wife's Brompton. It's just an easy to use, simple kit that works really well. So I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Last but not least, let's announce the winner of last week's book giveaway. And the randomly selected commenter is... Linda Daly. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose uh, either my DIY lithium batteries book, my book on DIY solar power, or building your own electric bicycle, or last but not least, electric motorcycles. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment below this video. You can say anything you want, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. Anyone who doesn't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.